The latest episode of The Bad Batch, titled A Different Approach, has just premiered, offering viewers a deeper dive into the evolving dynamics between Crosshair and Omega. This episode unfolds their connection, highlighting the development of a profound brother and sister bond. Continuing from their daring escape from Mount Tantus, the narrative progresses as their stolen Imperial shuttle sustains significant damage, rendering it incapable of hyperspace travel. This predicament forces them to execute a crash landing on the closest planet. Unluckily, they find themselves on the frigid planet under strict imperial control with patrols of stormtroopers everywhere, further complicating their situation. Adapting to their dire circumstances, they resort to stealing clothing to blend in and make their way to the nearest spaceport hoping to secure passage off planet. However, their lack of identification becomes a stumbling block. Crosshair is ready to forcefully secure their escape, but Omega suggests a more discreet approach, proposing to bribe a spaceport worker for access. The worker agrees to assist, but at a steep price of 15,000 credits per ticket, leaving them in need of 30,000 credits. In search of quick cash, they find themselves in a local bar where Omega's previous experiences with Sid come to a forefront. She skillfully hustles a Trandoshan, amassing a growing audience with her winnings. The situation escalates when an Imperial officer enters the scene, intrigued by Omega's talents. He challenges her, only to be outplayed due to his arrogance, inadvertently providing Omega with the necessary credits. However, the officer then informs her of the illegality of gambling, offering to overlook the offense for a 10,000 credit fine. They reluctantly pay the fine and proceed to leave the bar, only to discover that their hound is missing. A bystander, aware of the situation, offers to divulge the hound's whereabouts for a fee of 5,000 credits. Omega agrees to the payment and learns that the officer she had outmaneuvered earlier has taken the hound to the cargo bay. While Crosshair initially suggests leaving the hound behind, Omega insists on its retrieval, marking a significant moment of character development for Crosshair, demonstrating growth and empathy. Crosshair supports Omega in their mission to recover the Hound, showcasing a departure from his previous, more detached demeanor. Arriving at the cargo bay, they are greeted by the sight of numerous animals caged and ready for transport. It's then they realize they've walked into a trap set by the Imperial officer, who was informed of Omega and Crosshair's fugitive status and used the Hound as bait. Faced with no alternatives, Omega concedes to Crosshair's approach of fighting their way out, a plan he eagerly initiates. However, as previously noted, in other episodes, Crosshair's once impeccable aim is compromised by a tremor in his hand, significantly affecting his accuracy. This deterioration raises questions about its origin, whether it's a result of accelerated cloning degradation or a consequence of something done to him on Mount Tantus. A personal theory of mine suggests a connection with Hemlock, who also exhibits similar hand issues possibly indicating he explored Crosshair's mutation for a potential cure, which in turn may have inadvertently harmed Crosshair. Despite the setback with his aim, Crosshair manages to create enough of a diversion for Omega to make her way to the cargo ship. In a bold move, Omega releases all the caged animals during her escape, causing a chaos as freed creatures stampede over the unsuspecting soldiers. This pandemonium provides the perfect cover for their escape. Amidst the turmoil, a specifically thrilling moment occurs when the Imperial officer that orchestrated the trap is captured by a tentacle. The creature responsible for his capture is implied to be a Raftar. What is a Raftar? Well, imagine a fearsome, monstrous ball of flesh covered in multiple eyes and equipped with a mouthful of sharp teeth, capable of swallowing a human whole. These creatures are extremely dangerous and aggressive, known for their speed and ability to capture prey with tentacles that extend from their bodies, pulling victims into their gaping mouths. Raftars are considered so lethal and uncontrollable that they're used by space pirates and smugglers as a means to eliminate enemies or as a high-risk cargo for trade in the galaxy's black markets. Following their harrowing escape, Crosshair successfully reaches the ship, ensuring both he and Omega safely depart from the planet. In the aftermath, Omega dispatches a code transmission to Hunter and Wrecker, directing them to convene on a moon of Ryloth. This plot development tantalizes with the prospect of delving into the fate of Hera Syndulla's mother, whose death during Cham Syndulla's renewed resistance against the Galactic Empire significantly impacted her family. This tragic event not only propelled her husband into an obsessive quest to safeguard Ryloth, but also sowed a deep-seated rift between him and Hera. 
Kimura. The storyline presents an opportunity to explore the complex family dynamics further, potentially offering insights into the emotional and political turmoil that shaped Hera into the character beloved by fans. But I digress. The episode wraps up with an emotionally charged reunion between Omega, Wrecker, and Hunter. During this heartfelt moment, Hunter inquires how Omega managed her escape and found them, to which she hints at receiving assistance. At that moment, Crosshair emerges from the ship, instantly drawing a palpable tension among the group. As they engage in a standoffish stare-down, the scene underscores the complex history and unresolved issues that linger between Crosshair and the rest of the team. This moment sets the stage for a potential reconciliation or confrontation, highlighting the intricate dynamics. The dynamic between Omega and Crosshair is fascinating. Omega, with her innate kindness and empathy, contrasts sharply with Crosshair's more stoic and pragmatic nature, yet their interactions hint at a deeper connection. Omega's influence on Crosshair subtly suggests that beneath his hardened exterior lies a capacity for change and growth, nurtured by their evolving bond. Omega's resourcefulness is a standout trait, significantly bolstered by her time spent with Sid. This period period of her life was not just about learning the tricks of the trade or honing her survival skills. It was a transformative experience that equipped her with the cunning and quick thinking necessary to navigate the complexities of the galaxy. Her ability to adapt, think on her feet, and use her surroundings to her advantage showcase her growth from a naive clone to a savvy individual capable of influencing outcomes and guiding her makeshift family through the perilous situations. The dynamic between her and Crosshair is enriched by these moments. Omega resourcefulness often complements Crosshair's strategic mind, hinting at a compelling relationship where both characters can learn from each other. But I thought this episode overall was pretty good and it helped develop the character of Crosshair further. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below.